Hello, everybody, and welcome to the premiere of Grin and Guardian Gang. <laughs> I got to get used to saying that. It's not the paranormal guys. Uh, let's see here. First off, we are live on the internet, uh, on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, I don't know, Twitch, Kick, uh, Trovo. We're also on internet radio. You can find us on yergsradio.com. If you want to call into the show, you can call us in at one triple eight eighty eight Y E R G Z. That's one triple eight eighty eight Y E R G Z on the phone pad. Uh, let's see, the chat is open. Uh, challenge coin for you. Welcome, uh, Wendell. Welcome. Yeah, Wendell, I do look a little lost here. Uh, so, without further ado, let's see. I've got some new co-hosts that uh, my regular go my regular audience doesn't know so let's uh introduce some of them here first off we have matt hello matt how's it going well, i don't know what the hell button i just hit so just work with me here <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Corey and chuck so let's move this down here so we got everybody oh that's a motley looking crew i got there so. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, this was an idea I came up with, what, like a week ago? And uh, we just kind of rolled with it. Uh, we decided that uh, we wanted to sell some stuff and work with some buddies in fire, EMS, military. So, um, so we're going to show some good coins. And Matt, I know you had worked on uh, some history of the challenge coins, talking about how you know, they've been around for so long. Yep, but they used correct. to be quite simple. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, you want me to speak about it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Introduce yeah. yourself. Go ahead. Talk, talk. This The audience is yours. <laughs> Thanks. As everybody, my name is Matt Likewise. Uh, I'm, uh, yes, I am currently in the military. I am a uh, U.S. Navy chief uh, doing 21 years now, uh, about to retire. Um, can't wait. <laughs> uh, so in, uh, in a sense, what we're talking about is so I uh, started my own company. As you can see, Luminary Strike Design, it's a small business operated at this moment, uh, hopefully to expand it bigger. Uh, but uh, just speaking about uh, military challenge coins. So they go back to World War One, actually. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, so military challenge coins, a uh, little, you know, small, little round coins uh, used to have a uh, they have some kind of affiliation with a a unit or a command, right? And uh, those coins would be used as a way of like kind of verifying who you are, right? So during those times in World War One, World War Two, right? Uh, if anybody was captured, or you know, if anybody was you know PIA or missing in action, you had these coins that you were given to you, and it identifies that you are in fact a, um, a U.S. soldier, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, and then it carried over through the years. Uh, it wasn't really too popular. Uh, you know, a handful of people have them. I think, Glenn, you got a couple of 1950s over there that you had. Uh, they weren't too big, they weren't too popular as what they are right now. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's something that was exchanged between two handshakes that you didn't really notice. It kind of just, you know, it's like an invisible sign of uh, saying that, you know, you belong to this squadron or this group or whoever. And then uh, we adopted it for years. And uh, my dad, who's actually, he was in the uh, military. He was in the U.S. Navy, along with my grandfather. And um, both of them, you know, they didn't really collect too many of these challenge coins. Uh, I was always asked after I got started my business, like, hey, where's challenge coins at? And, yeah, I really didn't get too many. Um, so it, was, it wasn't really popular. But, you know, people people still had, you know, those challenge coins that were given to them. Uh, usually by, like, a unit commander or somebody who's uh, high ranking would uh, you know, give an award out and give that secret handshake to you know, give those coins over. It's pretty cool. Uh, so where we are to now. So today, uh, challenge coins, right? You hear the word challenge coin, you're thinking, what is this like, a, you know, as a secret society or something like that? It's actually very vast. It goes across everybody, uh, military, police force, you know, firefighters, um, even companies who uh, want to just, you know, give out something as a appreciation or thanks. Uh, they, they will create challenge coins and uh, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, something that you can uh keep as memento you know maybe 20 50 years later like hey check this out what i got from this uh you know unit and uh i don't know about everybody else but I, the challenge coins i have all have a story everything 
uh, every challenge kind I've ever given has uh, significance to it. Uh, it wasn't just handed to me, you know, because oh, good job, pat in the back. Uh, it was given to me as a, you know, as a reward or something saying thank you for uh, what you did for all your hard work. Uh, but that's kind of what it is in a, in a nutshell uh, when it comes to challenge coins. When to last if you ever got one mixed up? I don't know what he means by that. But. Uh, yeah, I don't know about mixed up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Services. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Corey, Chuck, tell us about yourselves. Don't be yeah. shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a probation parole officer in the state of Montana. Um, been doing this job for 15 years. Prior to that, I worked in a regional prison. Uh, for 10 and a half years. And prior to that, two and a half years in a jail up in Alberta, Canada. Yes, I am from Canada. Do not hold that against me. <laughs> but uh, um, I currently supervise the uh, domestic violence caseload along with Chuck. He's my partner. Mm -hmm. um, been doing that for about two and a half years. And I just recently started a task force. Uh, for domestic violence, uh, for the for our region, anyways. No, go ahead, Chuck. I worked for the jail up here for 16 years, and then been with probation parole for five. So that's where I'm at now. Cool. Well, welcome, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. So, so we uh, we have quite a few coins to show off. I know Matt, you wanted to show off. You have a website as well. So if you want to show that off, I'll let you kick off the fun so that uh, you can get going with that because I know you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Matt yep, is so, uh, Come up with all these graphics and everything you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like I was telling Glenn. So uh, I'm one of those guys that's kind of like the uh, check of all trades, master none kind of guy. You know, all over here, I'll, I'll sew you some shirts together or I'll, uh, you know, design you uh, <laughs> some challenge coins. Um, like I said, uh, Lieutenant Luminary Strike Design, uh, my new company just uh, started up, got the business lights and everything. So, um, you know, trying to shoot it off. So what I'll do is I'll uh, share my screen here. <clears throat> All righty. <clears throat> so there we go. All right. So uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, Challenge Coins, uh, Luminary Strike Design, Challenge Coins website. But it's a mix. It's not just, uh, you know, uh, Challenge Coins. Uh, we kind of get into a little bit of some laser engraving items. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things you gotta kind of wait for when you're doing uh, challenge coins. Uh, so I'll go off of uh, just kind of just, just roll through real quick. So um, see a couple of companies up here, challenge coins for you. They're one of the guys who's in the chat right now. Uh, his name's Sam. He's been my uh, my rock over here. No homo. Uh, he's been the guy who's basically made all the realities happen when these challenge coins um anything from you know just the basic uh you know traditional challenge coins that are around to you know uh, uh the terminator like we got coming out here so um let's just scroll down a little bit so this is the main page uh, when you go to luminary strike or luminary sd.com shop as you can see we have um you know coasts and everything but uh, we'll touch on the the challenge coins right so uh first one here a lot of people see this and they're going like, oh, what is this thing? Is this a gun? I was like, no, there's, there's a significance behind it. And what the motto is behind my uh, company is that we like to do things that are retro or nostalgic. And the reason being is because uh, I've been doing a lot of research about this. And it seems that, um, you know, a lot of people look for things that are kind of uh, in the old generations, right? The 90s and 80s, right? Because a lot of these things that you see that you're like, oh, man, this is really cool. Like, I want to, you know. I want to have like a piece of you know a history in my hand right it's something you can have so i got that and then it kind of has the blending with the u.s navy chiefs you'll see a lot of anchors on here uh you know we can't copyright anything because copyright infringement gets you on everything so unfortunately um <laughs> this is what we got uh, this is the uh golden gun this is from the popular n64 game uh golden eye i don't know if i have any uh golden eye uh, players back in the day again pretty popular in the 90s right so um, that's where this inspiration came from. Uh, Challenge Coins for You, uh, the company, like I said, who does most of our work, uh, does it and uh, gives us these, uh, these amazing Challenge Coins. Uh, they're, they're awesome. Uh, it's a really good, uh, really hot sellers. Uh, it's, and when you do your collection, people have tons and tons of Challenge Coins. I mean, in the, the military, you know, the other fields, 
they love collecting these kind of things. So it's kind of where the company goes. We want to make sure we want to keep it with like, you know, the retro nostalgic, uh, throw some anchors on there uh, to see how it goes. So this is one of them. Uh, like I said, this is the, uh, the golden gun from the golden night and CC four game. All right. Uh, everything you could buy. It's pretty, pretty simple. You just add it to your cart. So it's off of square. Uh, we'll ship it out to you within anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. You know, if it's on the weekend, uh, another coin that we got is the, um, the famous Super Mario Brothers. Um, a lot of people see this and they go, "Wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool." So, uh, you know, it's again, this is the retro nostalgic kind of feeling, right? So, people I've had multiple people comment to me about this, saying that, "Oh, wow, I just want to take that thing and just start blowing it." <laughs> I go, "Oh, yeah, okay, well, yeah, do what you want to do, right?" But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, taken from the uh, old NES cartridges, if uh, you remember that kind of stuff. And uh, it has a little bit of a chief on it because, uh, again, we can't uh, got to be careful with the uh, the copyrighting things. But um, again, it's it's really it's really awesome to hold in your hand. Um, the coins aren't uh, as five inches as like an actual normal cartridge, but again, this is uh, what we're trying to achieve when it comes to like the retro nostalgic kind of feeling. Um, and actually, running sales right now, so you can actually get this for cheaper <laughs> than what we've been selling it for uh, by shipping or in store pickup here in Fallon. So uh, yeah, make sure you take a look at that. Uh, a couple of the coins you got. Uh, let's see here. So this one actually I just got done um, for all my Back to the Future fans. Uh, this is um, again Chief inspired. Uh, can't say say it Back to the Future, but Back to the Legacy, right? We got our anchors from actually the the first anchor from 1893. That's on the far left here, uh, all the way to the current uh, U.S. Navy Chief anchors that we have right now. Followed by DeLorean and a deck plate background. This is kind of like the model for uh, U.S. Navy Chiefs, right, with the deck plate leaders. And then followed behind the background, which is yes, the flux capacitor. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get a little bit of it. Actually, I did a really nice job on the back of this. Uh, the um, the uh, inside is epoxy resin, so it kind of gives like a glass feel to it. But um, just something cool, you know, put in your hand, you know, hey, check this out. This is from Back to the Future, right? It's just something cool uh, that we can have. Uh, so this is one of the uh, other uh, challenge coins that we have. Uh, so uh, we got that. And then um, let me go ahead and uh, let me stop this real quick. And then, okay. And I want to actually, I'll, I'll actually hold them up for you. And then that way you can actually see them. Let's see here. So... <clears throat> A little harder to see, but you can kind of see there. There you go. So it's a little thick. It's about a five millimeter inch coin. Uh, you know, it's uh, there we go. It's what they call silver plating. So if you don't know anything about how challenge coins are made, it's actually very, very cool. Uh, make sure you YouTube it. Check out the YouTubes. Um, but it's a uh, it's a process they go through to. It's kind of like uh, a big machine that's like stamping them. It's like a big line of uh, metal, right? And they just go through and stamp it. But they have what's called a mold. Is what they make first so that's where my that's where i come in right so all these designs that i have they uh, i submit them to my supplier and um they go ahead and they start uh making a mold or the first mold and that's what they make all their coins off of uh which is what uh what we go through so challenge coins for you is like i said that's the company they go through uh maze guy over sam he's over in uh singapore uh, it's a little late over there um but uh it's where most of the magic happens right so it happens when people are asleep and other people are awake right when you get all these things so um so that's the one up close um like i said it's pretty thick it's actually got some weight to it again uh it, don't kill the cory uh you can't kill anybody with it but uh it's pretty it's pretty thick right uh here's the golden gun up close <clears throat> oh that's nice yeah. yeah so there's your golden gun um there we go and then with this, it has, uh, you can't see the words, but it'll say one shot, one victory. So in the game, if you remember in Golden Gun, in the Golden Gun, it was uh, one shot, one kill. So we kind of stick with that motto. And then, of course, it has the, uh, the anchors that are uh, on both handles. Um, also an expired. Uh, roughly, it's about uh, three inches in length on the side. Uh, these were a pain in the butt to get from Singapore. <laughs> uh, Hong Kong flagged it. They're like, those are weapons. No, it's not. It's just a gun. It's a coin. It's not real, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it, was, it was pretty. It was rough to get them, right? And here's something cool. So this is the gold. This is the uh, cartridge. Uh, also five millimeter thickness, right? Again, it's just like um, just like the original cartridge, right? 
serialized so everybody can get their name on it. Uh, what you can't see is the uh, rules of a chief here. It's a little small handwriting. Oh. Something we go off of as chiefs, but you got those followed by the three anchors that we have. And then, of course, it's uh, serialized. Uh, the good thing about this, though, is that if you look at the detail, everything in this is, you know, right about here when it's the little groove right there. I told this my supplier, I was like, this needs to be exact replica. Right? There's a lot of coins out there. They don't really do. They have these, yeah, but they're not like, you know, with the bumps where you get that feel. Because, you know, back in the day, you, you know, you, know, you blow on the thing, right? That's uh, <laughs> kind of where that comes from, right? And uh, it's cool because this coin was made. Um, they make it with a metal, but to get the gold appearance, it's like a, a vat of gold that they have. And they uh, there's a process they have where they dip each coin into it. And when they pull it out, that's how you get that gold all around, which is really cool. And then uh, UV printing. UV printing is uh, another amazing thing. If you guys don't know anything about UV printing, UV printing is uh, it's a machine. It's very expensive with ink. Uh, what it does is it basically drops the ink onto the coin or any surface that you have, followed by a, um, a black light that uh, dries it like instantly, which is pretty cool. So uh, we're moving up in like the challenge coin uh, world. You know, compared to the uh, 80s and 90s where it was enamel or just enamel paint that they painted them on. But uh, they're coming up with different ways to, um, you know, uh, have these challenge coins, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then one of the coin I got here, this is not one of my personal coins. But again, this is just to show you how we, how challenge coins have changed, right, from the traditional, right? So this is a hanger coin. Uh, it's from our base, NAS found. Uh, took this one a while to make because my supplier was like trying to really, really figure this one out. But it has actual sliding doors that come out. It's like a hanger coin, if you will, right? Followed by a magnetic uh, golf ball marker. Right here. It's a little golf ball marker. Cool, right? It's attached by a magnet. It just snaps right on there. There you go. Oop. There you go. Oop. And he closes the doors, right? You got sliding doors as they go. And then the back side, it has all of the, you know, the base that has on there, all the planes and then all the operations and the airspace and all that good stuff. So as you can see, it's not really practical anymore to have a, you know, a, a round challenge coin. Uh, they're very, uh, they're very vast. Uh, I've seen like, you know, baby Yodas and Mandalorian helmets. You know, uh, this one coin I saw a guy did in Bahrain. It had literally the sand and water inside the coin. I mean, oh wow! How did they do that? that? <laughs> yeah, it's, so to me, I was like, "That's crazy." They—I don't know if they epoxy resin it or somehow they made the, like the little bubbles and it's got the water and the sand from Bahrain, you know, in a coin. So um, it's 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 pretty interesting, actually. Uh, but if you go to my website, uh, luminarysd.com, you'll see the upcoming coins that I have coming, and uh, they're they're actually pretty cool. Uh, one that I didn't show uh, was the uh, the Ghostbuster. <laughs> Uh, actual proton pack, <laughs> which um, is, is pretty cool. Like it, it, it's literally just up to your imagination with these challenge coins. It it's, depends on you know where you want to go with it, and if you got a good designer to make these kind of things, um, most companies will work with you and uh, you know get you get you what you want. So uh, big shout out to Challenge Coins for you. I've been using got using them for ten years, over ten years now, and uh, great communicating. They always give you what you want, like. Like communication is, is awesome to the point where they're like hit the go button, you know, they'll get you exactly what they want. So, um, but yeah, check it out. Uh, if we up next week, I'll, uh, I'll show you the upcoming Terminator coin that we got coming. It'll definitely turn heads. Awesome. Can't wait to see that. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. They've uh, changed so much since the beginning of, I mean, before they were just little, almost like pennies. They were just little copper yeah. coins. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, they were. So, Corey, Chuck, what do you got down there? Do you have uh, some good coins for us? So, I, I just shared all those pictures on on our um, private chat there, Matt. I don't know if you can oh, share yep, that. Oh, so okay. Whatever. I don't know, but I can hold it up as well. So, this is our first coin that we created. This is our badge. It's pretty simple. On the bottom is our our mountain logo of our of our of our DOC, and it says Great Falls region. Then it has the four cities: Shelby, Cut Bank, Great Falls, and Lewistown. 
This is, um, it started out four millimeter thick, but the overall thickness is actually 11 millimeters. We got pretty extreme 3D. Dang. Pretty extreme 3D. <laughs> on Jesus, man. And then uh, the back of the coin is um, a two headed wolf, really. And uh, the top of the coin, it says, you are the wolf that you feed. So if you put that in perspective of probation and parole, um, we could be the good guy or we could be the bad guy. It's all up to you. It, it's up. It's in your, it's in your hand, right? So this, this coin, then at the bottom it says one mission, one team, one goal. This coin literally took off, um, with our region. Uh, a lot of the officers, uh, really liked this coin and, uh, they wanted more. And we just started doing this as just basically for shits and giggles, um, <laughs> just because law enforcement, we all, we're all about coins and it doesn't matter what part of law enforcement you're in. It seems like every police department, every sheriff's office, every HTF, DEA, uh, secret service, they all have their own coins. And not only that, every entity of that ATF, like technicians or fire fire investigators, they all have their own different coins. So it's law enforcement challenge coins. It, it's it's a big game, and, and everyone adores it. Everyone loves it, and everyone just wants to keep collecting and collecting and collecting. Going back to what Matt said, you know, we always. Back in the day, um, you always held on to that coin that you were given because it was a show of respect or gratitude or you did something out of the norm um, for that agency or whatever. And you would hold on to that coin. And uh, the person that gave you the coin would have basically ask you, like, if they see you on the street like a week later or a month later, here, you got your coin? You got to show you that coin. And if you don't, you, yeah, buy the next round. you buy the next round or, coffee <laughs> or don't, whatever it is. Right. And, uh, that's since gone away because, uh, if I was in that game, I'd probably be carrying around about 25 pounds worth of coins. <laughs> so, so since we made that first one, um, the staff were pretty excited and, uh, we went with our second coin, which is, the round coin is basically, it's the norm of coins, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. But when you go into the actual shape of something, that's what attracts and draws attention to your buyers and to your collectors. Mm -hmm. So Montana is known as Buffalo, right? This is the Buffalo skull. And we got a lot of Buffalo over here. And uh, I put the same logo slogan on top, one team, one mission, one goal and put our badge on there. And then the backside around that center seal is all four cities that we, that we look after in our region. With these, these are serial numbered. So what we did, we have 250 of these that we made Every one is serial numbered. Right at the very bottom of that seal is a number. It would either be 2 250 or 125 250. So these are for, these were just to sell, trade, whatever. I also made 50 of these coins specifically for the officers if they wanted a favorite number. Or if they put a lot of people put their badge number on it. Those 50 coins were actually bought from our officers to our officers. So if you were to see one of these coins that only has like badge number 359 on it or the number 359 on it, that's someone's specific coin that they gave you. It's not a serial coin. So okay. A lot of, lot of, lot of uniqueness when it came to this coin, in per se. 
And then, uh, so this whole first coin is gone. We had 400 of these made up. Everyone sold or, or uh, got given away. Uh, every one of these coins have been either sold or traded off. I don't have any more of these two coins at all. I got one. I got, I got one right here. <laughs> I got this, trader. Is, this is what I got. <laughs> and a lot of staff, they bought, they bought coins for trading, right? Because there's a few of us in the office that uh, like hoarding coins and like trading the shit. And they'll trade it before, they, before I sell them. And then it's harder for me to sell them. But they're trading to someone over in, what, China or Russia or Israel? <laughs> <laughs> and then our third coin. So kind of went off of the buffalo skull. Put the buffalo skull on here. What unique is about this, it is the shape of Montana. Also, we got a lot of uh, farmland up here. A lot of ranches. So that's why I incorporated uh, the barbed wire along two sides of it. And then our region is, that's where we all supervise. That is our entire region for the state of Montana. That is actually to scale. So we got to, we, we cover a lot in the state, just our region out of Great Falls. We're based out of Great Falls. So we go all the way up to the border and damn near all the way down to Billings, just about. What else is unique about this is the white part on the skull, 406, and there's four little stars that dictate the cities up here. All, I, if you can see, I got the cities written. There you go. You see that. That There's four white stars on there. Everything white on here glows in the dark. Nice. Awesome. And then the back of the coin, one mission, one team, one goal, and it's got our badge. This significance of this symbol right here is the three guys reaching for the fourth guy. By the time we sold these two coins, um, we have an officer that's going through some major medical issues and uh, he's struggling some. So before I designed this coin, I knew that this officer was struggling. So this is actually our fundraising coin. This is the symbol for benevolence. And if people don't know what benevolence is, it's to help your staff members. It's to help your partners, your partners in time of need for any medical, any, uh, any costs occurred through medical, travel, food, whatever. It's to help your partners out. So this is our fundraising coin. This is what we're selling. I got, I got 400 of these made up. And I have about, have about, about 180 left to sell of these. But I'm selling these for $24 a piece. Um, the dimensions of these is three and a half inches long by two and a quarter inches high. And the overall thickness of this is 10 millimeters. So it's got some, it's got some, <laughs> it, it's some high 3D. Hell yeah. some I, I I like the 3D part. I, that's that, that's all me. That's on me. I like the 3D stuff. It just makes things pop. It makes things stand oh, out. Does. And, totally agree. And this first coin, this first coin with the 3D on this is is absolutely amazing. How those letters just stand out on there. So. So yeah, we did that, and then uh, I also designed some patches off of our first coin. Patches are pretty much the same. Okay. Now, are those cloth patches or are those These PVC? Are PVC? So it's basically the the rubber patches. Um, they're four inches in diameter, and they all have the Velcro backing as well on all these. So, and we're selling these for ten bucks a piece too. Um, one thing with probation and parole in the state of Montana, we uh, we don't get patches 
all of our badges and everything is embroidered on Hello. your shirt. It's all embroidered. Hey, guys, we've Whoa, got a caller on the line here. With luminary strike design. Well, he's <laughs> listening. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I just wanted to say he made some amazing coins. Yeah, he has. From what he's shown us on the uh, screen here, it's amazing stuff. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the amazing jet coins and helicopter coins that he made for us. And I don't know if he has any right now to show, but they are phenomenal. Does he have a QR code that we could order? Some? And does he have a QR code that we can order some more of his products? <laughs> I believe I believe we're going to get around to how everybody could get some here in just a few minutes. So yes, I think he probably has a QR code. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, thanks for calling. <laughs> All right. Thanks. You guys have a great night. All right. You do the same. Thanks. Everybody. Appreciate it. And you didn't order them to do that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my, that's my buddy. Uh, that's my buddy James. He's down in Texas. He's uh, he's actually in the fireworks business right now, just like me, trying to trying to get, trying to make a buck. So. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah, and we will. All of all of uh, yours are for sale. And if uh, Chuck doesn't uh, get rid of all of them, you can sell some of yours too. So, <laughs> right? I know he kind of hoards things. <laughs> I bet he's got big pockets. So. <laughs> we also uh i'm going to send a link to somebody somebody asked to come in that they had some things they wanted to show so jeff i've sent you the link you can join the studio uh and come in with us uh jeff has made some leather stuff to go with the coins so uh he'll come in and show us what he's got but uh yeah the whole goal of tonight is we are planning on selling these things and we eventually would like to get this to where this is not just our show, it's your show that you can call in or you can message one of us and we'll send you the link and you can come on here, show your coins, what you have for sale. Since there's so many scammers, this was kind of an idea I came up with because the idea here recently is, you know, you write the date down, you take a picture of it and you send it to them and that means you're legit. Well, that's cool, but this way you get to see us, you get to see the coins and uh, you get to a much larger audience. So, um, and you're out on the radio too. And we can field live callers too. So there's some there's some benefits to this. So, but uh, yeah. So Corey, Chuck, you got uh, PayPal or Venmo or something that you'll you can if you want you can send it to me in the group and I can make a uh, thing to scroll across the top of the screen there. I have one on it right now. Also. Uh, can I throw it out our uh, fundraiser too as well, Glenn? If that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I got permission from uh, our uh, radio station to do it. So yeah, absolutely. Okay. So if you want, we can. I can send this to you too. I think I sent this to you. You can put this on your banner or whatever of your screen. But uh, we are doing a fundraiser for our benevolent fund. Not only are we doing the coins. Uh, we printed up a thousand raffle tickets and we're selling them for uh, one for 20 or six for a hundred. And if you can see the three guns on there, that's three of the, that's three of the raffle prizes. The fourth prize is a $300 gift certificate to in a romance basket to one of our Quinn's hot springs. It's one of our uh, hot springs in Montana. That's pretty awesome. Pretty amazing. But uh, I also included the sponsors on there that uh, helped us with these guns and uh, I did reach out to uh, Mitchell Supply here yesterday. And uh, if you guys buy firearms in your state, uh, they will ship it down there to an FFL dealer. Um, typically, most pawn shops have FFL dealers. Uh, sporting any sporting goods stores have <laughs> FFL dealers. They'll ship it to wherever, uh, wherever it needs to go for that gun. And I actually do have that uh, shotgun on hand right now. If anyone wants to uh, wants to look at that, um, I can show that and do a little show and tell on that. Okay. But uh, we also have the, uh, the PayPal and uh, Venmo. I can I'll send that to you right now, Glenn. And you can share that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's see. And Jason's joined us. He's also in here tonight with us. So. Welcome, Jason. 
Sorry, and I'm late. I've, I've had a eighteen hundred dollar day. Well, Com- computer. Well, <laughs> Maybe Matt can get you straightened out here in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> see, Jeff is backstage, so we're gonna bring in Jeff. Jeff makes some uh, leather goods. Jeff, how are you? I'm good about yourselves. Doing good, doing good. So, Jeff, tell us a little bit about yourself and about what you got for us. Uh, well, started uh, leather crafting about five years ago. Um, recently started uh, designing some challenge coin holder necklaces. Oh, no. Oh, that's badass. Oh, wow. That's nice. Well, thank you. So That's a good uh, idea. I never thought of something like that. Yeah. So they're adjustable. I mean, you can get them pretty small if you want to wear them tight or keep them loose around your neck. Nice. But yeah. Mostly started. Coming with, leather uh, big enough to go around Chuck's neck up there. So that's uh, pretty big. Guy. I mean, <laughs> well, these do get pretty uh, big. I bet they fit Chuck's. <laughs> Did you kill the whole cow for that one? But <laughs> <laughs> how how much does a necklace go for? Uh, thirty dollars, and you can choose, uh, you know, what color you want it. Uh, along with the stitching, you can kind of see this is a brown with green stitching. Um, okay, it's designed for a challenge coin for a band I follow, Pirates Creed. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they're a fun band and got their challenge coin. It's like, you know, a good way to display that, make a little necklace. And so, but it definitely uh, is an interesting idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank so, you. Now, if you were to make one for, now, obviously, a lot of the ones we've shown so far are odd shaped sizes, but if you yes. were to make one for just a regular coin, do you have to have the coin or is it a slip in? Uh, like it's, a, yeah, it's a it's a slip in. So uh, I'll show you the back here. So it comes with okay. a little snap. Oh, uh, okay. You just pop that, slide it uh, out of the little retaining strap there, and coin comes out. This is about uh, forty millimeters uh, in diameter, maybe two and a half millimeters thick. So, smart idea. Smart idea. But yeah, any like round coin I can do just based off of the size of the coin. So, um, if it was one of the odd shaped coins that you guys displayed <laughs> that are pretty awesome, I would probably have to have the coin to be able to trace around that, make the border where there'd be enough leather to stitch it. Awesome. But yeah. And you know, <laughs> that's a pretty awesome. good idea. These would work too if you, you know, you want to put it on a keychain. That just slides back in and it's just, you know, a standard snap that holds it in place and whoop. <laughs> and they're durable. And, yeah. You have a little <laughs> medallion and <laughs> So, Jeff, if somebody wanted to buy one, where would they go to get it? Uh, I have a Facebook page. It's Prodigal Sun Trading Company. Uh, you can drop me a line there, or my email is Prodigal Sun Trading Company or Prodigal Sun TC at gmail.com. Okay. If you want to send that to me in a message, I'll put it up on the banner there as well. So, All right. I can do that. Yeah, because I'm sure. Well, hopefully, you'll get some sales off of this. Yeah, that that would be pretty awesome if I did. If not, it's still a pleasure to be on the show. Well, hey, you're a first guest, so we've had a first caller and a first guest, so we're doing pretty good for the first night. So, oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, All right, let's see. Over to you. yeah. All right. I don't know if you'll be able to fit my uh, my huge ass. Uh, NES cartridge coin up in that thing, but if you do, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could make one for that. That's awesome. Be good. That would be quite the pendant. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be quite the pendant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a badge holder for uh, those of us that have been in the business for, you know, a while. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. Uh, PD uses it more than we do, but it's really what it put me in mind of when I saw it. Okay. I could definitely see that. Uh, all right. Well, there's your info up there. Um, so you said it comes in, you can custom make it, which you'd have to give them a price on, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And then uh, but the basic one is just $30 for what, a two and a half inch round? Is that about the uh, standard? Or is it- that is a two inch round. But yeah, I mean, a two and a half inch, I'm not going to upcharge on that. That's not a whole much extra le- amount of leather where it would make a significant difference. Okay. And you said they had some choices of the color of stitching? Uh, yeah, you could custom color the leather. Um, I've, you know, brown, black, blue, green, purple, red, yellow, orange. Uh, oh, wow. Same with the thread. Yeah, I've got a pretty wide variety. So, you know, you can match it to the coin or, you know, just pick your favorite colors. Cool. Is there any personalization to the leather that you can do as far as around the coin or? Um, I could, if I'd have to make the pendant wider, and if you'd see here, the stitch line's pretty close to the edge. I think it's about an eighth of an inch, but if they wanted to do something custom like that, I could do stamping around the border, but again, it would, you know, increase the size of the pendant. Okay. Cool. All right. right. Well, hey, Jeff, um, keep uh, keep us in mind. We're hoping to be on every... I don't know if Friday's going to be our main night every week, but uh, we're hoping to be on weekly. And uh, you're welcome to come back in, and I will keep your information scrolling up there. And if anybody has a question for any of these people, you can call us in at one 888 yergz Yerg's Radio is our sponsor tonight, so we appreciate them letting us be on the air. So this is kind of one of those things where the radio station owner was like, well, this is kind of a visual thing. I don't know how this will work. (laughs) I said, well, let's give it a try. See what happens. So I appreciate that, Jeff. Oh yeah. Happy to be here. Anything else sitting back there you got for sale or. Oh, um, (laughs) yeah, I did grab a couple of more of my eye catching pieces. Um, Let's see. This was the. Thing. That's leather. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if wow. you can uh, see the detail on the nails there, but yeah. For any of my pair are oh. normal fans, <laughs> that would be a definite uh, thing to have. Wow. I w- I would have never guessed that was leather. <laughs> yeah. So I'll use a uh, you know come up with some of my own patterns that one was one i purchased offline uh another uh, popular one it shows is the spider that's that's incredible oh, yeah. it's actually got all the yeah. <laughs> oh, what's the measurements of that thing that's huge um <laughs> oh my God. maybe 20 ish inches i mean yeah oh, wow. What do you do with something like that? Mostly display <laughs> it and use it to draw in customers. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my big eye catcher. Yeah, like Halloween time. Yeah, you know, I never realized you could do 3D stuff like that with leather. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a surprising amount that you can do with it. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm used to a lot of the things that the firefighters get the leather shield on their helmet, you know. That's mm-hmm. the main thing I'd ever really seen them for, but that that's impressive. So oh thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh I got started making my own holsters and knife sheaths and then kind of just took off from there and the more I got into it, the more I found and just yeah, things kind of grew and started vending at Renaissance Fairs and kind of went in that direction. That's pretty cool. Well, thank That's you. Cool. All right, Jeff. Well, I'm going to let you get out of here, um, but I will keep this scrolling for a bit. And if you get anybody that, uh, you know, wants to uh, ask you a question, I'll send you the link or you got the link. We'll bring you back in. But I appreciate you for coming on. 
All right. No, thank you for the invitation. Uh, great experience. <laughs> Wendell's no, asking. Was the the <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wendell was asking what? Wendell's asking if you have one of a Bigfoot, like Bigfoot <laughs> the Sasquatch. Uh, I do not know. Uh, well, if Wendell, you can email me. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our normal uh, show, we do a paranormal show, so we that's why I said that would be a big hit, the spider and the, the thing. But, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> nice. But yeah, maybe Wendell will be the first to order a Bigfoot footprint, I guess. I don't know yeah. what you come up with. Yeah. Oh, man, you could use uh, Tiny's back there, footprint designs or shape, so we <laughs> have, we have it worked out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, Jason, did you have a question for him? I'm sorry. No, no, I was just saying that was definitely a very interesting uh, contrast from going to the necklace to the spider, and that just shows that <laughs> he's got some talent. My, uh, my brother, my brother does leather working, and and he's made uh, a couple of uh, vests. Uh, oh, nice. like what you would have saw with the uh, like archers in the in the England days of, of war. He's made a couple of those and a couple of belts, but he's not done anything quite like this. Okay. So yeah, very, very, very good. Very good. And belts. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, tell you know, definitely got some game. talent there. Do what? Sure. Okay. And tell your brother to step up his game. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything 3D like that. I really have. That. that blew me away. But, you know, like we were talking about with the metal work, I guess now you could do about anything. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Literally. And 3D well, printing is going to be the next with the, thing. So. Yeah, with the metal working, you mentioned, Glenn. So uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with STL files. It's kind of like a CAD, if you will, like a 3D rendering of an object. And uh, that's what I went with my uh, supplier. Uh, it's That's the thing. Now, that's like the next level. Like, uh, just like Corey said, he loves 3D, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's the next thing, man. Like, you got, you can make anything. As long as there's an SDO file or someone make that. <laughs> wow. All right, Jeff, I'm going to let you get out of here. You have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep watching the show. Remember to everybody to uh, send an email, prodigalsontc at gmail.com, and he'll get you hooked up. And, Jeff, come back maybe next week or the week after and let us know how you're doing with this. All right. Maybe you'll have that good foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you having me on the show. All right, man. Thanks for being our first guest. I appreciate it. Certainly. Y'all have a great night. Later, brother. You too, brother. See ya. That was awesome. I never would have imagined you could do that 3D <laughs> leather work. Leather spider. Man. Yeah. yeah he's, that he's, got some, he's got some talent. Yeah. For that. Yeah, that one, that one got me. Definitely. I'm uh I'm also got uh Corey who sent me your QR code. And that should be coming up right down there. So, yeah, Corey sent me the pictures, but I wasn't able to post them there, Glenn. Okay. Well, we'll just go with this for the moment. So, um, so Corey, give your prices again. The coin is $24 that's shipped. And, uh, you know, when I got into this coin trading and buying and selling, um, my wife just rolled her eyes at me. But I was I was literally making sales at two o'clock in the morning, laying in bed. Yes, and she would yep. literally roll her you. eyes at me. I feel you. So uh, um, since then, she's kind of uh, accommodated me, and she bought me uh, my own shipping label maker, so I don't have to go to the post office yes. and. Uh, stand at the post office for four hours to uh, ship a package so uh as soon as i make a sale i i print up the shipping label and ship it all within like i got her everything packaged within five minutes <laughs> right, that's it that's true so these are 24 uh patches are ten dollars a piece 
and if anyone is interested in um, in the raffle tickets, again, those are uh, one for twenty or six for hundred, um, and you got your chances of winning either a AR fifteen or a Glock nineteen, which is not a little nine millimeter pistol, a Gen five, and then uh, that twelve gauge um, pump action shotgun. Uh, I can. Uh, you want me to show you that? I, I'm excited. I got to show you this. <laughs> okay. It's all good, Corey. It's not Facebook. You're good, bro. That's it. Well, we are on Facebook, but, you know, I've been in jail before. I know a couple cops, so. Corey's already in jail, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys work there. You'll bail me out. <laughs> so while Corey's, uh, while Corey's grabbing that, so the, the back to the future coin that I had, it's uh, $40 free shipping free shipping and we'll ship it anywhere you want to go uh and then the um golden gun was actually 35 dollars, but we dropped it down to 20 now and uh the nas cartridge is was 50 but we also dropped that down to 30 so make sure you guys check it out that's like kind of terminator this thing is badass <laughs> it, it looks oh, that's badass oh my you gosh just back and back and, yeah <laughs> so beautiful five round magazines you just uh just start firing it <laughs> so this does have a uh, you can buy uh you can buy a um, conversion kit to make this semi-auto as it stands yeah. right and now you gotta rack it back and forth each one but you can buy a conversion kit and make this semi-auto Corey's so. like, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, anyone know what the length of a legal shotgun is? Just to make, it, to make it legal. Like, so we find off sawed, we find sawed off shotguns every now and again. What is a legal? What's the legal length of a shotgun? Anyone know? I was on Jeopardy last night. I forgot. <laughs> Would you say it was Jason? I said it's 16, but it might be 18. It's 18 inches. 18. Yeah. Jesus. So this thing is 18 and a half inches. Just barely. <laughs> Just <laughs> barely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Wow. So the raffle tickets are twenty dollars each, you said? Correct. Yep. Yep. All right. And they could Venmo you for that too. Oh, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty badass. It's America, it's America. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you also we come to up with different things attention. all the time. What's you that? Also got to pay attention to your uh, firearms laws in your state. So, California, for example, uh, you cannot get a thirty-round magazine in California. So, oh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Pay attention to your firearms laws, and if you, by chance, win one of these guns, uh, we'll ship it out to you, but you might not get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Newsom will was, take it for you. <laughs> right? Yeah. So what, how the draw works, first name out of the hat, get your selection of whatever prize you want. Second name out of the hat gets your pick of what's left over. Third name and then fourth name gets uh, the last prize. So those uh, that three hundred dollar romance basket, I don't, it might have some scratches, sniffs in there too. I don't know, but it's got some alcohol. <laughs> I was waiting when you say edible panties. I, I figured there was another cat. <laughs> he took those out of the basket. Uh, yeah, Chuck took them home already. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, if I hope you, and that also you said goes for a good cause. So, yes, it's, it's going to go towards us uh, officers and it's going to go. Hey, we started to fund for one of our officers that he's got, uh, he's got stage four and uh, he's struggling. Um, he's going out to the Mayo Clinic for his chemo treatments. Oh, they're a good place out there. Yeah, out in Rochester. So, um, seems like Montana kind of gave up on them. They didn't say they didn't 
give them any good news and uh, pretty much said they're uh, done with them, giving them chemo treatments and uh, seek elsewhere or to try something different or something like that. And his only other option was the Mayo Clinic or there was some specialty cancer institute. I think it was over in Seattle, somewhere like that. But uh, he got into the mail a lot sooner than in Seattle, so that's why he's been going out there. He goes out there again in the next couple, well, on next Tuesday again for another round of chemo. So it, uh, he's kind of a very humble, very proud man. He's a, he was a he's retired DCI agent, Division of Criminal Investigations. So he worked strictly homicides and uh, dope. He worked a lot of undercover dope and uh, homicide. So that was his uh, general caseload as an uh, agent for DCI. So he's very valuable to us. He's been with us for five, four years. four years. And he's a walking history book. And it doesn't matter what street you drive down, he's got a story for something. It's, it's crazy just being out in the field with him, just talking to him. And he'll pull the wool over anyone's eyes. Like he'll tell you straight to your face, he was, a, he was an attorney. And you'll, he'll have you believing that he's an attorney. And he's so full of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, we hope he gets well. And uh, I know I've actually, as a flight medic, I took some patients there. So that's a, that's a good facility. So, All right. Well, yeah. I'll show you one of my coins here. Yeah. See if I can figure out how to do this now. It'll be my turn to screw up. Uh, <laughs> so I went with a standard coin uh, for my first one. Uh, Union City Fire Department is a local, who won't be a hand model, is a local uh, fire department. Uh, and we made these coins up. Obviously, this side is uh, our fire department patch that we wear on a uniform. But the other side, we made specifically in remembrance of one of our good guys that got cancer, uh, and it took him fairly quickly. Uh, his name was Sergeant Craig Underwood. Uh, he was my sergeant. Uh, he was with the Union City Fire Department for about 15 years, and he was 12 years in uh, the Army National Guard. And so we got this to uh, remember him. And so we wanted to – I wanted to make this the first coin I offered since he was actually my favorite officer. Um this is kind of a good. You see, like we were talking about, every coin has a story. This is, uh, that's right. You know, this is one of the ways that I'll never forget Craig and some of the things he did for us in the community. So uh, this one is just your standard coin. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Matt can probably tell us about the photoing on it. Uh, it's not very thick, um, but that is a photo of uh, Craig and in my picture of uh, Truck Forty Two. Uh, that was his favorite truck. Um, and those I'm selling for $22 each. If anybody's interested in one of those, I can give you a hookup on that. So it's that one is uh, my special coin. So I thought uh, I'd start off by showing that one. It, every coin does have a story, and I will never forget Craig, and that's one of the reasons I had the coin made, so... Keeps us, keeps us, uh, keeps him in our in our mind and our memories. So there, uh, a lot of the guys at the station got on there, of course, hanging around the station too. So, and I got plenty of them. If anybody wants one, they're twenty two dollars. And like uh, Corey was saying, there, um, we can get these out to you pretty quick. So they'll be printed up and out the door the next day. If anybody wants one. It's awesome yeah. way to remember people. It, it, you know, I, I, that was really the reason uh, I got into this making these was because of that coin. Actually, uh, I mean, I was, uh, I was looking for something to do on the side while I was out on medical, but uh, I saw a coin that somebody made for a law enforcement officer, and I was like, "That's pretty badass way to remember people by." So, so we'll never forget him. And then another coin I made. This is for my paranormal guys. Let's see. Hold on. Let me push another button here. I'm 
multitasking. So this is for our paranormal guys. This is, well, maybe. This is a Bigfoot, Wendell. There you go. There's your Bigfoot. Uh, on one side, that would be the hypothetical name of a Bigfoot if it was a real creature and they had scientifically, oh, what do they call it, uh, labeled and put the genome? Yeah, the scientific and, genome. Yeah, scientific genome. It's got, uh, also, it has uh, barbed wire around it. And then what's really cool about this one, I don't know if I'll be able to show this or not, but this one, well, maybe. This one glows in the dark. I don't know if it'll show with all the lights on here in the studio. And eh, maybe a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the all the, the red glows, his eyes glows, teeth glows, and uh, the stick that... Uh, he has their glows, so that's kind of cool. That one also is twenty-two dollars. If anybody wants it, and I was trying to shine a light on so it could get a little bit of uh, glow to it, but I don't guess it's going to get much to it. The Mount Vernon monster was the very first cryptid that I ever saw, the very first Bigfoot. So I was kind of to remember that by. I got one to see every day. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. How tall is he? Six nine. Six nine? That's all? Wow. <clears throat> I wouldn't want you chasing me as an officer. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't run. Don't run. He I drives. Drive. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you don't run. You just shoot him. Is that the way it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. All right, ask I got one about, last one. Ask him, ask him about uh, how a guy gets away on a moped through a McDonald's drive through Yeah, that happens. <laughs> you don't chase him on foot. Oh. You don't chase him on foot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't chase him on foot. <laughs> and this one here I made for the Loudoun County, Tennessee Emergency Communications District. They dispatch fire, police, EMS, and the Sheriff's Department. Um, and as we were talking about uh, when the 911 center wanted this, they wanted something unique because everybody has just a coin. So we uh, decided that we were going to put the uh, telecommunicators headpiece headphone that they wear when they take calls uh, around the edge of the coin. Awesome. And then they have a slogan that is specifically for their center. That is, I can get it up there. Honest, empathetic, accountable, responsible, and team player. Uh, so we got that on there. And yeah, I thought that was pretty cool how uh, it. Is that uh, dark deck light? Yes, it is. It sure is. Huh. Nothing glows up. What's that? What, Jason? Oh, I was asking what, what question did he just ask? I missed it. Oh, he was asking what the uh, backing of that is. Uh, okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, what do they call it? Black tungsten or something like that, but it's deck plating is really all it is. Yeah, the and diamond that deck. $2. Yeah, that was $22 as well, if anybody wants to buy that one. And I'll put my info up here at the top so that if anybody wants to, they can. So, Glenn, let me, uh, let me ask you. Because I know this is uh, yeah. this is one one thing that a lot of coin group sites on Facebook always uh, ask, right? So, you, you make you make your own designs for your coins. Uh, so far I have, yeah. Right, and uh, the rest of you guys, you guys make pretty much your own designs, right? So, yeah. so how when when it comes to pricing, right? So, how do you go about making a price? For your challenge coins, what do, what do you what are the things that you guys, you know, take into consideration as far as, you know, yeah, I get it, right? Some guy over in China is making it, right? They're bumping them all out for you guys, but you know, a lot of people just, as far as the challenge coin process goes, from the time you design it, to the time you get it in hand, right? Uh, how, how do you guys come up with those those kind of prices? You guys go ahead and first, and I'll, I'll tell you my my two cents on it. 
You mean as far as the actual how much they cost? Yeah, because so coin size, right? You're looking at probably like I don't know anywhere from like you know twenty to forty dollars for a challenge coin, right? And you know a lot of people look at that like, hey, why are you charging this much for a challenge coin, right? And there's 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 a reason, at least in my mindset, when I'm when I'm making challenge coins, as far as the design portion goes, right? So for example, let's say um, uh, let's take a doctor, right? You go to see a doctor, right? You get a medical bill for like hundreds of dollars right you're like what is this like why do i gotta pay this much for this bill what are you really paying for are you paying for this person's knowledge are you paying for you know this you're, you're trusting this person to give you the right answer to your question right so challenge coins right for example like my coins it's like um starting out was like around 50 dollars for for a challenge coin the size and everything but uh, I see a lot of people just like asking questions like why do you, why is it priced like that right why why would you you know go so high on it so I was just interested to see what your guys inputs on it and then I'll I'll share my my two cents well uh as far as mine usually I try and figure you know it's got my time designing it drawing it coming up with the artwork mm-hmm. and then uh if you don't pre-sale them which pre-selling means that you're going to say, I'm going to order a hundred. If I get 20 people to buy them at this price, you know, the price would be cheaper, but usually you're fronting all the money up front is the second thing. So you got that plus, you know, you have to, you come up with a design, you front the money, uh, you design them, uh, you can pre-sell them or you can just outright sell them. So that's how I kind of come up with the price. Um, so but, you don't have like a you don't have a mathematical or a calculated answer. Well, you can go off of just no, like, I really don't because because well, from my experience, and I probably got a little bit less experience with it than uh, you guys, but you have to uh, price it out because some of these people that you're emailing in the middle of the night will rip you off. So <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> right. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. So that's the thing, right? So, but I, I'm just saying, like, so, okay, my supplier, right? So, the guy who I've used for ten years, I don't know how you, who you guys go through for yours, but you, um, you go through the same guy, you get the same amount, right? But, um, I can knock out a, a challenge coin probably in like, I can tell you, probably quickly, just because you know I, I I'm good at Adobe Photoshop or the, the editing program is that we use, right, to do it. But just because I can knock it out in five seconds doesn't mean that I should, like, you know, uh, undercharge it, right? So a lot of people I say, like, they, they look at it like, well, that's, that's too expensive. Like, well, <laughs> I wish I could show them this, this, um, this mime I saw. It was literally like a or meme, sorry. It was like a, it was a horse. It was a beautiful horse, half of it, right? And the rest of it was like a three-year-old's drawing. And I said, well, that's what you get for cheap. That's what you, you get, right? So uh, that's just kind of like what I'm, what I'm getting at. So like when you're, when you're pricing these things, like me as a, as a company, right? Um, it's not about um, getting rich quick. It's not about, no. you know, I'm trying to, let's go, let's go. I'm going to be charged $50 a coin. I'm going to be rich. It's not about, to me, that's not what it's about. To me, it's about getting the next best thing. I enjoy designing challenge coins i love challenge challenge coins i i, I designed so much right i got i got the terminator i got the robocop gun coming right i got ghostbusters i got a terminator right and it that's kind of all the factors that go into what you should charge for a challenge coin and uh it's just something you know just just food for thought as far as you know what what you should charge for a challenge coin absolutely yeah. and by the way ricky um $22 with shipping is mine. And I don't know about your guys shipping. I do free shipping. All my stuff's free shipping. Okay. And the reason why it's free shipping is what I just talked about. Because again, it's about what you put into the price, right? Um, people are more actually inclined to buy things when you say free shipping, right? Because yeah. you're basically meeting them halfway. Yeah, I'm charging $50 a coin, but hey, guess what? It's free shipping. We got you. <laughs> got too fast. Well, my, all of our coins too is I don't shipping's included in the price so it's $24 shipping included I, I I don't mess with the shipping details that that's I'm not going to worry about another dollar another two dollars or whatever I, I I don't do that it, right and Corey it's not for you right 
are these coins literally for you to to sell is nope. for a cause right you're for, doing it for, for a cause and, and it's and it's yeah. it's really not my decision either when we come up with a for the price of a coin i i present it to the staff this like a standard round coin about 20 bucks 17 bucks 20 bucks you can get one of these and i'm looking at i don't know about you guys but i i literally counted up all my challenge coin facebook pages that i belong to i belong to 19 <laughs> jesus nine, 19 man. challenge coin pages you got me beat man you got me beat and, and what i do i just look at the market on all those pages uh -huh. and see what people are pricing their their coins out at and that's what i go off of i i I am far from any type of designer. Matt, you know that as well as I do. I don't <laughs> just want to hey, That logo's right? coming, don't <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, 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 that is not, un, that's not my forte at all. And yeah. uh, I, I use a stupid little Photoshop program and, and cut and paste and do a lot of shit. And, and I talk, my, my supplier is right from China. So my phone calls and all my communication in Hong Kong starts at seven o'clock at night because it's morning over there. Yeah. So Absolutely. between seven and midnight or one o'clock in the morning, I'm making all these decisions, <laughs> planning <laughs> our coin out. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah. never make everybody happy. Else. And they you can never work. make everybody happy, you know, and it doesn't matter who you are. You, I can make another 15 coins and not everyone's going to be happy with it. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things. That it's like <clears throat> water off a duck's back. You just got to let it go mm -hmm. and, and um, mm -hmm. move forward. And it's not for, it's not for me and it's not for Chuck. It's for the whole team. Yep. And it, it's our, it's our money. It's not my money. Mm -hmm. So I don't, just, I don't, I don't take pride into putting a price tag on a coin. Um, I reach out to the, we have a committee and I reach out to the committee and when we come to determination, Hey, what should we charge for this? So these, these Montana coins, we first started charging $30 a piece. Mm -hmm. Why well, I've been sitting on them because people haven't been buying them. Mm -hmm. And so I dropped the price down to 24 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. um, we're still making money off of them and it's still going towards the cause. Um, yeah. and, that's, and that's what it's all about. We're, we're not about making money off any of this stuff. This isn't, it's not going, it's not padding my pocket. It's not padding <clears throat> check pocket. It's going right into the benevolent funds. You always have that one guy that, that complains about your prices and oh my God, it's so <laughs> and then you So look many. Up, a history on him and he's selling like garbage on eBay for three times, four times the money. You're like, what? You know? Yes. Uh -huh. Man, there's some eBay, there's some eBay prices. <laughs> wow. So one guy started bashing me on one of my Facebook pages. And uh, I can't remember what coin. I think it was, uh, it was the Buffalo Skull coin. He started bashing me because I was selling it for 12, 25? Yeah, 25. 25 bucks for this coin. <clears throat> yeah. But so <laughs> I didn't have to do any... I didn't rebut nothing at all. The admin of the page reached out to me and he says, uh, do you know this guy's bashing you? I was like freaking four o'clock in the morning. He starts making these comments. I'm sleeping. And I'm like, I wake up and I see these messages. I'm like, nah, yeah, sure. I don't know. But the, the admin, he's now sent a friend of mine on Facebook, but he, uh, he totally banned him. He, he, totally he said then he took screenshots of his coins that he was selling on ebay asking 150 dollars for one coin that's starting price that's horrible so he took these screenshots yep. and he says it's like the pot calling the kettle black and those, are, off. those aren't even his designs they're not even his designs he's just turning around selling other people's coins for 150 bucks yeah. i'm like holy shit so he's banned and he, he got a black eye from a lot of the coin pages just because he started bashing on me to begin with. I'm like, huh? Sucks being you, but. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, there, 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 there are a lot of dishonest people out there. So, 
but yeah, they're they're gonna complain. I've had people complain at you know, you know, twenty two bucks, and it's like, do you really? This <laughs> it's, if you gotta complain and you don't obviously want it, go on eBay and buy your uh, your little coins there. So but I agree with you. And there's two sides to it. I mean, you're selling coins and you can buy them and trade them with each other. Like that's Absolutely. what I enjoy. And get the story behind those. Because, like, I don't know. It all depends, like, where I get my coins for all my ATF coins. I, I know who I got them from, and they tell yeah. stories about those. And it's just awesome. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, everyone has a story. So, you know, and most of mine, I started with the fire department. And most of mine come from firefighters I knew or I had met, you know. So, yeah, it's just, it's a camaraderie. Yeah, you know, and and I now admin uh, two different groups on uh, Facebook for challenge coins, and I won't let somebody come in there and bash on mine. I'll kick yeah. them out. I mean, yeah, yeah, and then that's what that's what that's what happened with this uh, admin too. He he didn't tolerate none of that bullshit, and he kicked them out right away too. So uh, I appreciate that. I have, I've actually uh, started my own uh, challenge coin page as well. Uh, <laughs> So I'm also, I got Chuck as a, I got Chuck as a, one of the admins and I got one of my ATF buddies and one of my uh, Marshall buddies that are admins on, the, on my page. Um, so that's, and I've been getting a lot of scammers as well on there. So I actually had, oh, yeah. I locked down. So yeah, you got to be invited. You can answer a bunch of questions and go through the whole thing and provide credentials and stuff like that just because I have been getting a lot of scammers. So I guess that's one of the reasons why I, I'm intrigued by doing this live uh, to prevent those scammers. Yeah, absolutely. And I was going to ask you guys, um, if, how long do you think it'll be before we'll get uh, 20 emails from uh, people uh, or messages from people that, Oh, I designed coin for you. So. <laughs> oh, dude. I get, oh, so many, I'll get, I get, so I'll get 20 of those before the nights ever went so. in my <laughs> other folder from a lot of different Chinese companies. It's crazy. And they're not all reputable. So I was lucky. No, I had a, a no friend that was a police officer. Uh, he's like, if you want to do that for the fire department, he's like, I won't charge anything. You design it. And he's, I'll be the middleman. And till you learn what you're doing. And so I was lucky in that aspect. Yeah, I had somebody to show me because I've learned since then. There's some people that uh, will just flat out rip you off. And that yeah. QR code down there is the QR code. You made me think of it to my page on Facebook uh, where you can see all of my coins uh, that I have. And, of course, over the series of uh, shows we do, we'll, we'll show more. So, uh, But if you want to go look and... Take a look and order some that you can do that. Well, Jason, what do you think about this? Is this a good idea? I like it. I like it. I've got, so quiet. I've got about, I don't know, about 30 coins, I guess. But, um, and then I have a, I have a coin that I found on Amazon that with, my religious studies right now that I give out to people. So sounds to me like you need to be talking to Matt up there and he can hook you up. <laughs> <Got you, bro. laughs> See, I'll come for him, but I designed him too, just not as good. <laughs> I don't I don't design I, I found I found this one and, and it just really strikes home. I'm um um about putting on the full armor of God. And I found a coin that I really liked and um, I found it on Facebook and I was, I found it on Facebook and I was paying like six bucks a coin or not Facebook, Amazon. I was paying about six bucks a coin. Uh, but I actually found it on Timu for a dollar 99 a coin. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <Timu. laughs> so, so I'm like, and I've got a stockpile of them right now, so I'm not hurting for any, but I've, I haven't had to order. I ordered some, I think, back in November from from Amazon was my last order. But 
Yeah, now that you're mentioning, Glenn, um, my website, uh, Luminary Strike Design, actually does have uh, a link that will um, you click on, and you, we will design your coin for you. Uh, it's hmm. very, very detailed to the point of like everything that you want. So wow. uh, yeah, it's just, it's nice. So whatever you want, a buddy of mine, he's a uh, chief in the uh, White House comms, works with the president, right, right next door, and uh, he sent me up for a couple of them, uh, especially uh, you know something he can have to hand out. So uh, if there's anything anybody wants, we will totally, excuse me, I will totally design anything that you want. Uh, Warren asked, "What material are these coins made from?" Are there any brass ones? I think the original ones were brass, but now, Matt, you can so, about get them in almost anything. Yeah, right? so uh, the question, his answer, or we'll the, yeah, the answer mm -hmm. to his question, um, you can do brass. Uh, a lot of these uh, challenge coins, or a lot of these companies, that are these factories that push out the coins uh, can do brass. The problem is, like, for example, my Backs of the Future coin, I wanted one of the anchors to be uh, brass. Problem with that is that it's um, a whole entire coin has to be brass to actually be brass to before they actually silver plate it or do whatever they want with it. So yes, they do do brass. That is a that is a thing actually. Hmm. So you have, the you have a future coin. Hmm. What was that? Uh, back to the future coin, huh? Yeah, it's uh, you weren't here when I was presented, but uh, no, I I got in a little late. Yeah, so the um, oh, can't okay. say future because of copyright, <laughs> copyright right. stuff. But um, the coin can be brass, but the problem is, is that if it's brass, nice. you have to. They go through a, a what's called a plating process that um, puts whatever silver, gold, whatever you want to put on it, and uh, that's why I, I wanted it to be brass for the, especially this last anchor right here to be brass because the chief uh, U.S. U.S. Navy chief, the very first one was brass it was um the anchor that came out but it's hard to do that because again if you do all brass and they have to be brass so it depends on the company they can they can do it for you but you can do brass coins uh and they can plate it it just depends but most of them now are zinc right is that what's that most of the coins now are zinc is that correct yes yes uh most of them are it's it's kind of like a soft metal if you will uh, it's not anything uh, too heavy. Uh, it's literally just, it's kind of interesting. Like I said, go on YouTube, you can figure out how they how, how they actually do it. It's a big, long strip of metal, and they just literally feed it through this machine that pounds this and stamps it into whatever, uh, you know, uh, mold that you have. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Andy, I'm going to draw you out here. What got you into Challenge Coin Collecting? actually just received some at different firefighter parades and stuff like that. Okay. So all of yours also have a story about them, each one. Yeah. How many do you got now, Andy? Probably 25 or 30. Okay. Well, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my, my prize coin right now, I just got it for Christmas. i Christmas present to myself. Actually, it was uh, an Israeli Defense Forces uh, Special Forces Parachute Division coin, and it actually That's shipped cool. out of yeah. It actually shipped out of Israel, and it's all Hebrew. The writing on it is all Hebrew. And it's 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 probably my prize right now. It's, I thought I had awesome. lost it, and I found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah, that's, that's uh, probably not ask, Are they heat treated metal? Matt, is that the thing? Uh, no, not heat treated. I don't know what the the heat treated part yeah, is. Um, they keep it. As far that's as cool. like I said, it's um, if, if you if you YouTube it, uh, my supplier sends me the images of is literally just a conveyor belt kind of looking thing, and it just literally feeds in a sheet of metal into it. Uh, that's at the um, that the mold that they make. So, for example, like the, the golden gun that I have, right? It was a 3D rendered object uh, that they literally stamp into it to create uh, that coin. So, uh, I wouldn't say heat. I would just say um, kind of like a cutout. 
<laughs> if you will. Speaking okay. of uh, Israel, I, yes, uh, you you get a lot of friends when you're dealing challenge coins and just word of mouth. Tons of friends. And, yep. Uh, I uh, I made a pretty decent friend. He's actually a cop over in Israel. Oh wow! And, uh, Got my interest. You know, wow. He sent he sent me this hat. I just got this oh, in the mail two, two days ago. He sent wow. me this hat just two days ago, and he sent me his challenge coin. Ah, that's awesome, man! Oh, that's not. Hold on, let me make a bit. Yeah, put it, back, make, put it again. Put it up there again. Up. Put it up there. Oh, that is yeah, right there. Up. Yeah, that's that's sweet. Damn. There's that side and then this side here. Wow. Oh, there wow. Go. There you go. There's this challenge coins. And then, uh, yeah. He sent me the newest patches over there. They're all Velcro backing. So these patches, uh, these patches are in regards to the war that's going on over there right now. Yeah. That's, anyone in that's combat what right now, every everyone in combat right now is wearing this patch. That's their war patch. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. So he 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 sent this whole shipment out to me. Um, oh, probably before Christmas, and uh, yeah, he's been messaging me probably about once a week. And I've been asking him how things are over there and how how's his living situation and um, the messages that he sent me, it it would blow your guys' minds out of the water just how they live over there, uh, what he deals with on a daily basis. He his parents are like two miles from Gaza Strip. Oh wow. He he's he carries a gun with him twenty four seven. He sleeps with it. He doesn't leave his house without a gun. He's always looking out his windows. He's always tending to his family down in the bomb shelters that they have over there. He says he That's he crazy. just told me the last message that uh, he's it's it's going to get worse before it gets better, um, but um, they're prepared. They're prepared for a long battle. And um, by that, he, his, his bomb shelter is all stocked, fully supplied um, for them to live down there for quite a while. I just couldn't imagine um, just reading his story to me. And we converse back and forth a lot. Um, now he dictates everything. So it comes back over in China, in English. So I don't have to figure out all that shit through Facebook. But uh, Google Translate. he's uh, <laughs> he's uh he's a pretty proud man over there and uh he ain't gonna let the best get to him and That's he's got a he's got a wife and he's got two little kids too and and uh he says you're my friend you're my friend and I, I literally sent him 12 patches he didn't like i'm a patch collector too and he didn't care what patches they were he didn't care where they were from he just wanted united states patches so i i didn't I gave him 12 patches. I sent them 12 patches and just as a gift, just as a token. And he's been, this is my, I got another hat. This is three hats. Now I have, wow. uh, he, has <laughs> sent me, he has sent me a bunch of collar brass. He has sent me a bunch of tie tacks, uh, little pins. Uh, yeah. They're all at my office at work, but he has been sending me packages probably once a month, just, just out of the goodness of his heart. He's everything's Israel. He sent me uh he actually sent me a letter. Where's that letter? I have to find a letter. He sent it to me with, along with this package. It, 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 and he sent me a Israel flag and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty awesome. That, that is pretty cool. That is. Yeah, this yeah. is a brotherhood. Go ahead, Glenn. I'm sorry. I cut you off. No, I was just going to say, this is a brotherhood, you know, and, you know, I get police coins as well. And, you know, cops and firemen go back and forth and make fun of each other, but we love each other. And, 
we have each other's backs and you know it's a brotherhood and when you're trading these things not only do you get the story you made a friend mm-hmm. yeah what were you gonna say jason pretty tight, pretty tight, tight community <laughs> well, um, my my israel coin i just kind of stumbled across it i i stumbled through ebay and uh it was about oh about maybe a week or so after the attacks over in israel and i had ordered it and forgot about it and uh when it come in it come in like right before christmas that first first week of december or something and i was just i was tickled to death tickled to death and it's 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 a really nice coin i get it but it's locked up right now so (laughs) but it's um it's it's really nice it's got a red backing on it and it's all in hebrew and it's 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 really nice really nice Matt Warren ask if you know what an EDM machine is. So uh, EDM, I, I was actually looking up while you were talking to me. <laughs> it's an electrical <laughs> discharge machine, a precision machine, a tool that uses electrical discharges of shaping cut metal. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's what it is. I don't know if that's what they use to cut the metal, uh, not to my knowledge, uh, but that's uh, that's some pretty cut aging stuff. Right? Now, Warren is the one, if you remember, I sent in the group chat uh, mugs. Uh, he's, the, he's the one that come up with the, the mugs and the hat. <laughs> he's like, hey, you like this? I was just bored. Yeah. I wanted something to do. So, yeah, yeah. Warren is great. So. Yeah, just so you guys are tracking that, uh, what he did for us is awesome. I mean, uh, shoot, send me one of those things. Uh, I designed the, the logo off of an AI, but... In case you guys don't know what AI is, if, if AI is taking over the world, I had this conversation with Glenn. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool stuff, but um, you know, uh, it's it's also scary at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, one iPhone at a time or Android. All right. Well, here's that letter he sent me. Oh wow. Oh, hold on. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, it's kind of hard. To... Hmm. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is. Yeah. Tell me if he gets a fire department hat, you know a guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um, let's see. Um, Let's see, I saw a message coming through here. Oh, this is one that Andy has. That uh, that there. You want me to show that one, Andy? I see it. All right. Yeah, go ahead. That's the latest one I got. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm one of these old men. I'll need to go to. Uh, Radio Shack and have a kid teach me how to do it. So better Google it, better Google it bro. <laughs> Let me call my seven year old nephew. I was gonna say our mom says that she uh, she says Google. So <laughs> all right, let's see here. Share your screen. See, I don't do this on my side very often. So hell yeah. Sure. Matt, you got kids? So, uh, yeah, I am happily married. Uh, my wife is actually Indonesian. Um, I have one daughter. Uh, actually, have another one on the way. <laughs> um, about to retire, like I said, uh, end of this year. So, um, can't wait. Uh, there's always a light to the side of the tunnel, but unfortunately, uh, with the civilian side, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> It comes so with wait, it. Wait until your wait until your kid turns about 14, 13 yeah, years I know. old. Yeah. And uh yeah. I got one sitting right next to me now that uh has dived down this rabbit hole with me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, it's, you know, it's it's hard um, because man. you you know what's like it's not the nineteen fifties, right? Like so much social media. Like there's so much like presence with like what can influence your child. I mean, 
I, I got my cousin who's got their kid who's pumping like freaking hormones their kid to try to turn him into a guy. Like, there's so much stuff that I worry about as a father, but my God. Coins bro, is like, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stick with the coins. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm there with you, man. Oh. Chuck's kid, too. Chuck's kid, too. It's just, uh, it's just, you find one coin for you, you're like, oh, that's cool. And you're like, oh, wait. Not gonna buy two. Nope, not gonna buy four. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, I also like that coin. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. But I uh, know, man, I'm uh, you know, taking it one day at a time, man. My daughter's in kindergarten, so I'm not worried too worried right now. But <laughs> woo, you can only imagine when the teen years come, bro. Oh Jesus. Oh man. Well, I was I was gonna ask you too, does he look old enough to retire? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got underwear that old. <laughs> I got 21 and a half years in the U.S. Navy. I am ready to go. But like I told Glenn, it's not about that, right? Like it's it's just another door, right? So once this is over with and I retire, yeah, I'll collect the pension for the rest of my life. But uh, you got to make money, man. You got to you gotta support your family. And what I'm doing with this challenge coin business, I know it's kind of minuscule. It's not really a big deal, but it's something, right? It's, it's what I'm good at. And as a father and as a husband – you know, I, I do what I can, I do what I got to do. Right. Uh, I'll probably have more than likely have a job on the way out, but for me, it's more of just having fun. Right. And, uh, enjoying hobby. It's the hobby that you like. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, if I was well, like a model, like I build model planes, right? Like I'm, I'm a guy who loves doing this one thing, but it's what I'm good at. I've been doing it for yeah. freaking 20 years. Like, why would I stop? Why would I do something else? Yeah, they say if uh, if you uh, find something you love and you do it, you'll never work a day in your life because you have so much fun doing that. Damn right. So, yes, sir. I mean, I mean, I don't know about that. I love being a paramedic, and I know I work damn hard at times. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> but but it, I guess it was worth it, except for love, man. except for all the pain I'm in now from it. But. <laughs> I, I medically it's retired fun, out in 15. So I hear you. But it's all good. It's all good, man. I got 20. As I a, got 20 years. There's a retired uh, captain who told me at my last duty station, he's like, you got to do what you love. Because if you don't do what you love, then you're just going to hate it and you're going to want to do it anyways. So just get Drop. out and do, do what you love, you know, because that's, that's life. Hey, you'll die a miserable old man <laughs> if you uh, don't do what right. you like. You're damn right. Yep. Tell you, man. I'll tell you what. So, a lot of coins. My wife says she's going to bury me with all my coins. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her what you spent on them. <laughs> Sounds like my wife, Corey. <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, uh, Corey, who do you uh, who do you go to for your coin stuff? Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you have a, like a dealer or someone who actually go through who you talk to every day, like you've known for like years? Nope. Straight to the straight, straight to the straight to the maker. Mm -hmm. You know why they do it in Hong Kong? Because those guys never sleep. They literally work mm. Monday through. And Sunday. they have four and they have four year olds painting your coins. Get yeah, damn right. But and it's all good though. We don't we don't talk about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's that's three to eat too, you know. <laughs> we don't talk about sweatshops, man. That's all good. <laughs> I, I I was hesitant at first. I reached out to a couple of coin guys under these pages, and they had a pretty good reputation. So I just reached out to them and asked them who they who they used. And this guy gave me two different suppliers that he uses for his coins. And then uh, I'm like. Well, okay, I'm just going to try and reach out to this one. And all the women, all the people I talk to over there are women. And they're all like 20-year-olds. Yes. They're all like 20-year-olds. And they're 25-year-olds. Yep. And they, they talk Charming English life. like you yep. and I are talking. There's no yep. Chinese at all. Yep. yep. Wait a minute. It's, it's, it's crazy. None man. of them speak English. Holy cow. <laughs> It, it's crazy how it's you're just carrying on a normal conversation and they're, it's it's crazy but yeah i uh i dealt with the one and then i got in contact someone else actually reached out to me and asked me hey try this other vendor uh 
might be a little bit cheaper. Well, lo and behold, uh, my first two coins were from, her name is Evelyn. So my first two coins, I, I dealt with Evelyn. It's not a real name, but. And, and then. Uh, it's her stage coin, name. Okay. Yeah. A street my, name. My coin, I, uh, I dealt with Belinda on my third coin. You said Belinda? Oh, man. Belinda. It's crazy, right? It's totally uh, made up name. Right, right. If you look at their profile pictures, they're about 20 years old and they're like, yeah, her, her name is not Belinda. Yeah. The and her name is like, Gonchi Fanchoy. That's her name. Yeah. Yeah. She's, just, she's just trying to go up with a different name. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I laugh because uh, uh, the one that, uh, that made uh, the Rule Metro coin for me, her name was Evelyn. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, let's let's be honest, right? Like, if you want a coin made, it's gonna be in China. Like, mm -hmm. this guy's never sleep. My my dis my uh, distributor, like, he tells me they Monday through Sunday, like, unless it's a Chinese New Year, they're right. they're working their asses off, and which is awesome at the same time because you're not gonna find any factory in the U.S. that work twenty four seven. Yeah. Well and, yeah. and they turn out quick. Belinda, Belinda will reach out to me on the weekend. It's just like, oh, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fastest I ever got a coin, like the fastest, from the time of production to the time I show up on my doorstop was three weeks. Cool. So, three, weeks. Good. three weeks. And that's like pushing. Yeah, that's it, right? crazy. As soon as I, as soon, and that's, that's strange. Uh, it takes, so I'm from Canada, right? It takes <laughs> it takes three weeks to a month just to yep. mail a postcard up there. Yes. Okay. Yep. China. So Ooh. I got a cheap. I got a cheaper rate instead of <laughs> seven to ten Hell days. Yeah. Seven to ten days. If you go ten to twelve days, they'll knock another sixty dollars off. Well, hey, oh, I'm yeah. just going oh, yeah. to do the ten Easily. to twelve days. It oh, knocks yeah. the sixty dollars oh, yeah. off. Mm -hmm. I still have my entire shipment. 400 coins sitting on my desk in five days. Damn. From wow. China. Wow. Damn. What? I don't get it. Five days minus the Corona. Yeah. He's a big tipper. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, we've went almost two hours. We were worried about making it uh, an hour. <laughs> and so far, we've had a caller. We've had another guest. And we've showed off some beautiful work. And so what do you think? Um, you want to do this again next week? Hell, yeah. Cool. Oh, hell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I got something special. Next I'll be remote. Week. <laughs> okay. Tiny, you're going to come back, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball, but that's that's tiny. Yes, it's a name. <laughs> he's, oh, he's, I know. Not, he's not a free thrower. I got other nicknames that go by. <laughs> we'll talk about that also later, though. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's do a few. Let's do some taking care of some business here. So, if you want to get a leather uh, uh, necklace holder, I guess coin holder. Um, no, that's my email address. That's not his. Uh, it's this email. <laughs> yeah, don't email me. I don't do leather. Uh, and, uh, if you want, to what she said. <laughs> you want, uh, it's a different story. Uh, prodigalcc at gmail.com and he will hook you up. I think he said it was what 30 bucks. So we got that. And then uh, Matt, if you want to buy some stuff from him, you go to luminarysd.com and he has all kinds all of cool right. stuff on there. Uh, so, so you go there. And if uh, you want to get any of the ones I showed, you can pay for them that way, or you can hold on. Let me. I got to go to a different window here. Uh, go to my uh, QR. Why did it do that? My QR code, and it'll take you to my Facebook page. Um, and you can order, or you can email me. And in the meantime, if next week you have any questions for us, you can uh, shoot Matt. I guess you got your email address on your page. Is that? 
That's correct. Okay. Okay. Um, or you can also send a voicemail to uh, any of my shows uh, by going to speakpipe.com uh, slash para or normal guys with a Z. Uh, you can reach any of uh, my guests. If you want to ask Tiny, uh, Matt, Jason, Andy, anybody a question, uh, you can feel free to send a message to it and I will forward it to them. And let's see. Have I forgotten anything? That's it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, make sure tomorrow night at nine o'clock to join the same bat time, same bat place. We will have the misfits and we're doing an eighties flashback. So uh, I'm not sure what that means, but I think Brenda and uh, Dina are going to have their eighties hair on. So uh, we'll, I'm anxiously awaiting that. Yergs, I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, yeah, he put lips in there, man. So, <laughs> uh, Yergs, I appreciate uh, you letting us use your radio station. Uh, everybody, make sure to go check out yergsradio.com. Uh, it's a talk radio channel, and he's got several good shows on there, uh, several good podcasts that are friends of mine. Uh, he's got a show. Um, yeah, just go check it out. But uh, I believe we've come to about the end of this show, and we will work on getting another one put together for next week. Hell yeah. Excited. I'm excited for this. I think uh, we'll see how our views are afterwards. But uh, yeah, even if we don't make any sales, yeah, it'll be okay. Right, what was uh, what was Matt's? What's, what's your ad? Uh, he's, he's actually in the same uh, chat group you're in. www.luminarysd.com Luminary He didn't get that SD.com Yes sir Yeah, luminarysd.com There you go, there it is Yes sir Alright all right, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are gonna make sure to tune in tomorrow for the Misfits. So it's a bunch of my friends that basically we sit around and do this, except we drink. <laughs> uh, Cheers. <laughs> pretty much it. <laughs> and next week we'll tell you the true story behind Tiny's name. So. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah.